Brighton, England, 1963. A dramatic tale of human greed. Love. And gender identity. Servant for hire. France essential. Seeks the employment of two masters. One is Rachel Crabb, who must assume her twin brother Roscoe's identity. Why? To protect the murderer, Stanley Stubbs, who is Rachel's boyfriend and our hero's second employer. Got that? Good. One Man, Two Governors by Richard B. <laughs> me father, Tommy and Shaw, God rest his soul. He would have been proud of me what I've done with me life. This little bloke, Roscoe Crabb, comes to me and offers me a week's work in Broughton. Says he needs a bit of muscle. I tell him that this is all fat, but I needs a wage. I haven't eaten since last night. Problem is, I don't get paid until the end of the week. How can I stop thinking about fish and chips? Here I am, standing in a pub, and I don't even have enough shrapnel for a pint. What's this pub like? Groundbreaking. It does food. A pub. That does food. What are the rooms like? A world class. I need what they call in the army. A Batman. What's a decent drink for a geezer like you? A third day's graft. Ah, uh, well, me current governor, oh, that is my previous governor, uh, used to pay me £20 a week at the end of the week, which is no good to me. Why not? Because I'll have to eat every day. I shall pay you £5 per day. All right, Gov, you're on. Stanley Stubbles, what do I call you? France Essential. I like it. Get my things indoors, Henshaw. I'll be in my room. Just me luck. It's me other governor, Roscoe. Oi, Francis! <coughs> Oi, Francis. Where you going, mate? Uh, I'm walking round in circles to ward off the hunger pangs. I need a clean shirt. I smell like a doctor's finger. What's your iron in like? Oh, magnum cum laude. My shirts are in me trunk, here's the key. I'm gonna go have a couple of beers and lie down. I've got two jobs. How did that happen? <laughs> You've got to concentrate, ain't you? With two jobs? Cool, I can do it. Long as I don't get confused. But I do get confused easily. I don't get confused that easily. Yes, I do. I'm my own worst enemy. I'll screw it up. I always do. Who screws it up? You do! You're the role model for village idiots everywhere! Me? Yes, you! You're nothing without me! You're the cock-up! Don't you call me a cock-up, you cock-up! You slapped me! Yeah, I did, and I'm glad I did too! Oof! That hurt! Good! You started it! Mr. Stubbers is asleep in number 10. Likes Mr. Stubbers' shirts ironed. Plans to do both sets of ironing at once and... Bloody hell. What's this? What's well, the frame photograph of Mr. Stubbers, but these are Roscoe's shirts. What's me governor number one, Roscoe, doing with a frame photograph of me governor number two, Mr. Stubbers? Do you have a shirt ready for me at Henshaw? What are you gawping at? Never seen a man naked from the waist up, eh? Don't tell me you're the sort of chap that didn't shower. What have we got there? Oh, nothing. This is a framed photograph of me on graduation day. The very same one that I gave to Rachel. Are you developing a thing for me? Oh, no, Gov. It's a lost frame. Where did you get this? Oh, I must be very careful what I say here. I was given it by my previous employer in lieu of payment before he died. Before he did what? Before he did die. He did die, did he? He did. What did he die of? Oh, he was diagnosed with diarrhea but died of diabetes. He died of diabetes, did he? He did, didn't he? Oh, were you there? When? When he was diagnosed with diarrhea but died of diabetes. No, I was in Didcot. And he was diagnosed with diarrhea but died of diabetes in Dagenham. When did he die? Of diarrhea or of diabetes? He didn't die of diarrhea, he died of diabetes. He did, did he? Where? In Dagenham, damn it, that's what you said! 
Oh, uh, it was um a couple of days ago. Rachel is dead, but she is all I live for. Grief, grief, look, I'm shaking. Breathe, man, breathe. Everything, there is nothing without her. Well, that went quite well. That must be me other governor, Roscoe. Oi, Francis! <coughs> Oi, Francis, fetch me diary, it's in the trunk. Oh, which trunk is Roscoe's? That one. There you go, Gov. This is not me diary. Stupid cow, no, Gov, it's mine. But you gave it to me, thinking it was mine. Ah, uh, that's because um, I haven't owned it for very long, so I don't yet recognise it that easily. This diary is Stanley's. In here are the letters in which I profess me love for him. Letters and diagrams will celebrate the most intimate details of our love-making. Oh, my God, but... Oh. <clears throat> Francis. How come this diary and these private letters are in your possession? Oh, I must be very careful what I say here. I was given it a lieu of payment by my previous employer, right before he died. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. He did die? He did. What did he die of? Disease. Where? Where was the disease? Or where did he die of the disease? Where did he die of the disease? In Dorking. And where was the disease? In his diaphragm. So he died of a disease of the diaphragm in Dorking. Ain't it, didn't he? Oh my god! Stanley's gone! But I've given him everything! Me life! Me love! Me body! Bloody hell, he's a woman! <laughs> yes, oh, I'm in disguise as me twin brother. Who is also dead? I've lost a brother and a husband in the one week. Excuse me, I am in mourning. Believing that the other is dead, the pair unknowingly travel to the same pier to commit suicide. No. No. Mm. Rachel. Oh, Will, I love Stanley. Without him, this world has nothing to offer me. Rachel? Stanley! My little badger. Oh, me hairy bear. Oh, Stanley, what are we going to do? Would you marry a murderer? Oh, guess I'll have to. I'm already in love with one. Who? You. Oh, God, don't do that. 